What is up guys and welcome back to my channel and today we will be going through a list of a bunch of things that I wish I had started doing sooner because I started doing these things about a year ago and they have actually uh, helped me improve my physical as well as my mental well-being. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one is breaking out of my comfort zone. Now, this is very cliche everyone's saying this but it is really important and it was important for me to break out of my comfort zone because um it has allowed me to <laughs> what was that because it has allowed me to be more because it has allowed me to be more uh open and creative it has opened me up to new experiences and now i'm realizing that um in the past when i have not been that much of an outgoing person i must have missed out on a lot of opportunities so that sums up thing number one number two is socializing my family members and my friends uh, might say that i'm socially anxious and awkward because ever since COVID, uh, it took away all of my social abilities and it got to a point where I couldn't even order some food at a restaurant, pick up calls. But when my sister and my aunt Sudina and Sagita moved out, I had to do a lot of things on my own, which led to be a really good thing for me. Because of that, I have now made a lot of meaningful and social relations with a whole different lot of people. I know a lot more people now, and it has somehow made me feel a lot more happier because I'm actually, you know, interacting with a lot of people and not being lonely and alone all the time. Number three is letting loose slash being spontaneous. Now I'm saying this because I'm a kind of a person that wants all the, all the things to be done very right, very my way. And sometimes it, it just gets a little, little bit more than a little bit um, stressful and with uh, by being spontaneous I can uh, you know do things as they go without worrying about the future all the time now I'm not saying you should not be you know careful planned organized all the time but I'm just saying that sometimes you gotta let loose be spontaneous and you know enjoy the moment for a while number four is being not being <laughs> afraid in public i think this is the most important thing for me because no not really it is the second most important thing for me because being out in public and being able to do anything you want which should be appropriate enough is a really good thing because people around you they don't know you they will forget you after maybe 24 hours so why, why would we even care about them, you know? And this has also reduced my fear of judgment from a lot of people, thus reducing a lot of social pressure and anxiety as well. And it also helps me create a lot of uh, sociable, enjoyable moments to remember. Uh, number five is extracurriculars because before COVID, I actually used to play the tiniest the tiniest bit of volleyball at school but then COVID hit and then I lost all my abilities and everything and after that I was too shy to go out I never just uh, got into it after COVID so it has really been stressful in that situation and also I, w I really wanted to uh, be more athletic more into sports because it is essential for colleges because when I start applying for colleges, those colleges will most probably and will actually look at uh, athletics. And I've heard things about athletic people getting into colleges and without the best grade. So yeah, number six, this is the most important thing that I've ever done, I guess. It's working out and eating healthy. A year ago, I was totally fat. I had a ton of face fat, body fat, and I was 
And I didn't even know I was fat because my family members, they didn't even say anything about me being fat. They just went on like, nah, you're right here. And I was delusional enough to believe that my body was perfectly fine and I was not fat. But in fact, I was, so I was fat. Working out and eating healthy has helped me maintain and get to a healthy body weight and maintain my overall health. I'm also noticing that um, ever since I started working out, I, I don't really get sick often. Uh, before that, I used to get sick every, I used to get fevers every once a year or maybe around October, I think. Working out has also made me feel a lot more happier, uh, made me feel good about my eating because before I kind of used to feel like I was eating like a pig and I wasn't being careful enough, but also now that I work out, uh, I can actually enjoy stuff without worrying about being overweight. Number seven is skincare. I only started doing skincare after I started breaking out. My skin has ever been improving. I feel confident. I really like it that my skin doesn't have any visible acne because as I come close, there's only acne scars from like years before, which is like around here. And um, if you keep maintaining your skincare, you will not get pimples, I think. Now, I'm not a dermatologist, but I do think that, you know, maintaining regular skincare will help a lot. The last one is also very important because it is minimizing spending and hoarding. I am a spender, I would say, because I look up, look up on the internet and I all of these cool stuff that I want to buy. I buy them, I use them maybe for a week, and then I get tired of it. And that's that's just a waste of money because it only gives you the tiniest bit of satisfaction and then after a week, it's only a waste of money because you're not even using it anymore. By minimizing spending and hoarding, I can actually save money and utilize it somewhere else, maybe uh, pay for the gym membership or buy some protein. Minimizing hoarding, it helps me declutter my space, my room, and my space is more organized and, and I feel clean. Now, those are the uh, things that I wish I had started sooner and why I think you should start doing it as well. For the working out part, the only reason that I didn't start working out earlier is because uh, I had school for like 12 hours, more than 12 hours last year. With school taking all the time of my day, I couldn't really get things done. I could barely eat dinner, I could barely do homework, and let's just forget about working out in that situation. But if you're someone who has time and can manage maybe around two hours, Per, two hours per day for working out it will actually be beneficial and you will be so grateful that you started working out because working out is actually really good so that sums up the video i hope uh, you learned something helpful and beneficial see you in the next one i guess bye, -bye.